I make on YouTube in a year. And I don't blame you. I love these kind of videos to see like what other creators are making on the platform in different niches and who create different types of content because I be nosy, okay? And I want to know. I want to know if my numbers is numbering the way they supposed to. So whether or not you've ever made any money on YouTube or you are currently a YouTube partner and you are making money, you just want to know like what what is it like what is it like what are some numbers uh i'm gonna show you everything that i made in 2022 and i'm gonna break down some of the different analytics that are in here as well i'm gonna share my screen with you in a bit but um overall youtube paid me a pretty good amount in 2022 and i am just so thankful because without you guys there's no way i would be able to make this amount of money on the platform so if this ain't your sign to start a YouTube channel, uh, I don't know what it is because you can really make a lot of money. And that's not the only reason why I started the channel. I did not start the channel with thinking that I would even make this amount of money on YouTube. Um, and what I break down to you is purely YouTube money. This is not my business. This doesn't include all of my brand partnerships. This is just from people watching my YouTube videos. So we're going to go through my... Um, my revenue, but we're gonna look at like what were my top earning videos, um, just all the different stats. I got inspired to make this video by Shelby Church. She is an amazing YouTuber and she created one of these videos and I was like, well shoot, let me see what Shelby is over there making. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making right now. Okay, we are in my channel and let's just get the elephant out the room first. So, um, I have already filtered it for 2022 and you can see that I made estimated revenue $105,474 and 26 cents in, uh, 2022. So I did hit six figures on YouTube, which I am so thankful for. So without you guys' support, I would not be able to, you know, bring in this amount of money. So thank you guys so much for your support. So let's break down what makes up this 105 thousand four hundred seventy four dollars and twenty six cents so first thing I, I noticed um, as I was looking at my channel is that my views were down my watch time hours were down my subscribers were down even though I, I know it doesn't have that arrow um, but my revenue was up which is crazy right um, last year in general I was not prioritizing YouTube I wasn't uploading very regularly like consistently regularly I would have my spurts but I had two launches last year I launched my creator to CEO course and my creator college so it was just craziness and I ended up putting YouTube on the back burner which I ain't doing this year okay um, but that said um, I want to share with you what made up that hundred and five thousand and why I was able to make more money even though my channel wasn't performing as well as it was or as well as I would have expected or hoped because I didn't put in the effort okay so um, for revenue, I clearly we can see that, um, but my RPM and CPM, I want to break down the difference between these. So CPM is how much advertisers pay every thousand times ads are shown on your video. Um, so this is how much advertisers pay to show ads on my video per thousand views. And this is an average from the entire year. Your CPM is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up and down. It's going to change from video to video. This is not a set number. This is the average CPM from January 1st to December 31st of 2022. Now, this is the RPM. RPM is how much I actually earn for every thousand views. So YouTube takes a chunk out of that because, you know, they got to make their money too. So they take about 45% of the amount that advertisers pay and you get the remaining 55%. So this is my remaining. Now these numbers aren't that different. You, you might be like, Aaron, that's not a 45% difference. And that's because it's averaged, like it's a roller coaster. So it's not showing a 45% difference exactly, but the CPM is almost always going to be higher than the RPM. And these are both averages from the entire year. So let's go and look at how much I'm earning, how much I earned each month. So let's click see more and we're going to go 2022 and we can see how much I made each month. 
okay? Now, some of these numbers are going to be a little bit different than these numbers because this is the revenue and this is the watch paid ads. Now, I will get into why some of these revenues, like in May, 29000 but the watch paid ad is 4000 So this means I actually made 4000 off of ads, watch paid ads. This, however, was the total amount of revenue. So I'm going to get into why there was such a big difference. But overall, let's look at the watch paid ads. So um, it's, it's in order based off of estimated revenue, not chronological month order. So it's jumping around. So you made to January, August, April. But this is in order based off of how much I made from each um, month. So you can see there's a big difference. In May, I, I made a total of $29,120. However, watch paid ads was only $4,000 or $4,076.45. So why is there such a big difference? We're going to get into that. You can also see that I made $43.95 from YouTube Premium. So that's also playing into the estimated total amount of revenue that I made for each month. So that's why you're going to see some differences between um, some of these amounts like 66.43 versus 65.80. Well, we can see that I made $63 from YouTube premium. OK, I don't have fan funding open, so I always have zero dollars there. But why is there this huge jump? OK, so you can see on average from watch paid ads, that's where I make a bulk of the money um, is this section, these watch paid ads, that is how much I make every time somebody watches a paid ad, um, which is the number you would typically pay the most attention to. So last year on average from watch paid ads, page ads, I made $60,857.85. So where is that additional like 45, 40 something thousand dollars coming from? Well, let me show you. I make money not just on watch page ads, but also Brand Connect is basically a marketing liaison for brand deals for YouTube partners, which would be me. I would be considered a YouTube partner since I'm a part of their paid advertising program and uh, these advertisers or brands who want to do paid brand deals with you. So inside of YouTube, there is an area where brands can basically pitch you it might be, uh, I don't know, QuickBooks might send out a email through Brand Connect and may ping me inside of my YouTube studio um, requesting to work with me on a brand deal. It'll say how much it is. It'll give you all the details inside of your YouTube studio in the Brand Connect area. So um, a lot of these, like a lot of my months, like this month that spiked, um, I had a $25,000 brand deal, which is why I made $4,000 from paid advertising. And then the total said 29,000 because I had a $25,000 brand deal that month. So, um, you can also have a high earning potential on YouTube, not just with watch page ads, but with brand connect and then also with YouTube premium. Uh, so that is why there is a difference in some of those numbers and why there are some spikes in my revenue. Let's get into the top earning content because I always think this is interesting to see like what videos actually made the most money. So for 2022, we can see that one of my top performing videos was in February. Watch this before you launch 10 steps to start a business in 2022. Now this video, it kept popping up as a top earner and I'm like, this video doesn't even have that many views. It, well, it has a lot of views, but not so much so to be earning so much money. I think this video has around 150,000, 150,000 views. It's made $10,000, which is around a hundred dollars, a little under a hundred dollars that I'm making for each thousand views, which is crazy. Um, so we can see here that on average, the CPM was $111, which is why this video is bringing in so much money, even though it's not like a million view video. So the higher that CPM is, the more money you're gonna earn in your RPM, which means you don't have to have as many views to make $10,000. 
as much money. So I've seen people who have over a million view videos and still haven't hit that 10K mark for a video. And keep in mind too that this is over the course of an entire year. This, this was published in February, February 9th. So almost a whole year that this video has been live and it's still making a lot of money. This is still one of my top earning videos now like every month like this video is earning at least a thousand dollars pretty much another high earner was this video from 2020 like that's what's so wild about youtube is that you can have videos posted years ago that are still gonna make you money today if you're posting things that are relatively evergreen now this is the difference between posting vlogs and posting content that people are going to be searching for continuously because this video is still relevant this was when i was still living in my parents house i was still you know like in their home at, at in that office um and it's still making it made me five thousand dollars this year like that is wild same with this one from 2019 full monetization process i actually recreated this video but again made a lot of money this year, like three years later, <laughs> um, made almost $4,000. So um, you really can make a lot of money off of videos that you posted a long time ago. This is why I tell you, do not stress if a video doesn't take off right away. This watch before you launch was a very slow burn of a video. Like when I first posted it, uh, it was not performing well per se like it wasn't getting a whole lot of traffic really quickly But over time it has gained a lot of traffic, but also has picked up a lot of like money <laughs> so um, Traffic is not always like the end-all be-all another one that I posted in 2019 three thousand uh, dollars This one was posted in 2022 26 so a lot of my top earning videos, like you will notice that a lot of those top videos that are top earners are like your core YouTube videos that most people find you from, that most people um, subscribe to you from. It could have been years ago and they're still gonna continue to make you a lot of money. So don't delete videos, like make sure that you're constantly creating quality content because you just never know what that video that piece of content is going to do for you long term so that's a little peek at some of the breakdown uh showing you that every video that i'm making a lot of money on this year was not created this year a lot of them were created years ago honestly so that is how much i made on youtube in 2022 it was a pretty good year i'm expecting to make way more than that in 2023 because I have been on it with my uploads. I can already see such a big difference in my channel. And this just also goes to show that even if you have a YouTube channel and you're not as consistent, but you have put in the work at some point. Now I'm not saying don't be consistent as soon as you start, but if you've put in years of work on YouTube and you have an off year, it's okay because a lot of your content is just still going to be working for you over time. You can see that most of the content that has earned me a good amount of money was not created in this year, in the year of 2022. So keep that in mind as you are creating content. YouTube is one of those platforms that just constantly allows you to make such passive income. I haven't promoted these videos. I haven't done anything really with them. They're just generating traffic. So if you have a content that is evergreen, that is going to be able to be searched, like those are the types of videos that are really going to create the foundation of your YouTube income. Now, I also vlog a lot and you can notice that a lot of the content that I'm earning a lot of money off of is not vlogs. And this is not to say that vlogs are not useful and that you can't make money on a vlog channel. You absolutely can. I have made lots of money on my vlogs. However, they are not videos that just stand the test of time. They are cool, engaging, connection building videos that are able to connect me to my audience, like build a stronger bond between us. Um, and within that month or the next, like within like two months, that vlog has pretty much like lapsed. It has done what it's going to do. It is not a piece of content that is just going to last forever. So 
I want you to keep that in mind. That is why I am so adamant about mixing in vlogs, mixing in searchable content, um, because I think that they work really well together in terms of being able to build that connection with your audience, but also having that content that is going to keep your channel alive and floating and making money passively over time. So uh, I hope this video gave you some insights. I absolutely love YouTube. It is like the heartbeat of my business. It pumps business into every aspect of my streams of income and my business. So I will probably always be on YouTube because it is just such a powerful tool. So I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.